This land is my land. All mine, every blade of grass, every tree, it's all mine. All mine. Morning. Oh, you can't see me. I'm a ghost. I've been waiting to say that. This land is my land. My land. The government says so. They say, hey, this land has Josh's name on it. Apparently, every fly in town thinks that is their land, though. I don't know if you can see them. I have so many flies in here from when we moved in. We've been fly hunting. Fly hunting. But, in the meantime, I want to let you guys know I closed down the public P.O. box. Uh, box 1017, Ile de Chain, Manitoba. That box address is no longer mine, so... If you send stuff to it, it probably won't get to me. I do have the mail forwarded to my personal address for the next four months, but after that, as of right now, I don't know if we will have another public P.O. box. I'll probably open one up eventually, but maybe in a few months. Uh, the reason being is you guys are so generous, and you guys have always been very generous to bless me with all kinds of different things you guys are sending me, but uh, sometimes I feel like there's other people who are in more need than me, who might need those things more than me. So, uh, I would encourage you guys to, uh, instead of spending your money sending stuff to me, maybe spend it on, uh, sending stuff to a charity or someone who needs it a little more than me. Uh, but I do appreciate every single thing that you guys send. And, especially when it's for Diesel, cause, look at him, look at him! He's too shy to say it, but he, he loves all of you. Speaking of mail though, I did one last mail haul there, and we got two packages. We got one from, what's the name again, what's the name again? Brian in Florida, he is 12 years old, and he sent Diesel a toy. It's a cow! Diesel, man. It's a cow, and his hooves squeak. Yeah, man, take him. You want him, man? Look, he's gonna do a dance for you. You want him? Take him. If you want it, take it, man. It's yours. Take it. Uh, well, I don't know where to grab it, man. I don't want to hurt him. Take it like a man, or I'll just throw it on your face. Good boy. Oh, I didn't investigate this thing. Is that a cow, Diesel? <laughs> Thanks, Brian, for sending Diesel a cow with long, stringy arms. He's going to love that. Thank you for sending that, so we got it. And you were from Florida. Now one more package to open from Mr. Hutchins in Wisconsin. Wisconsin. I don't know what it is yet, but I have to open it. Here it is. It says on the little border crossing thing that it's a uh, keychain, a cow, and a semi-truck. You fit a whole cow in here? Diesel. That guy says there's a whole cow in there. Oh, I'd really like to find out, man. You know what I'd like? I'd like to kill all these flies! I'm gonna murder every single one of them. How does that make you feel? I kill flies. They're trespassing. This is my land! All flies be warned. You are not welcome on my land. Mosquitoes even more. Even more not welcome. I'll kill you. Let's not forget this nice semi-truck that Brian sent me as well, along with Diesel's toy. So he got me something too. Thank you. Mr. Hutchins sent me a cow from Wisconsin. It says, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. America's Dairyland. Got milk? I do now. Look, udders and everything. And the cool dude shades. Yeah. This is not a chew toy though, Diesel. I'm sorry. It is just for decoration. Mm. <laughs> I like that. Uh, what's up, guys? <laughs> oh, that's cool. Uh, what else did you get here? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Wisconsin. The Badger State. I didn't know that. Established 1848. Cool. 
What's on the back? He said something interesting is on the back. Ah, made in Canada. Ah, <laughs> Wisconsin. Your keychains are made in Canada. <laughs> That's funny. Cool. And what else? One more thing here. Another semi with a trailer. Wisconsin. A big giant cow trailer. Can you imagine how much Diesel would love that if our trailer was painted like a cow? A nice Pete. Pete. Very nice. That'll go on display on one of my shelves. So thanks to Mr. Hutchins and Brian for taking the time and effort to send me something. Uh, I really do appreciate it and I'll put them to good use. But again guys, don't forget the mailing address is closed. I know it's still on the website when I'm filming this. I'll try to take it off as soon as possible but I'm still trying to unpack here and whatnot. And for now there will be no PO address. Uh, but if there's something that you sent already, that's already in the mail, don't worry, I'll still get that. For a short while, I will be getting that mail forwarded to where I am now, but only for a little while, and then we'll see. Um, see what the future brings. Anyways, I have to go mow my backyard, because I have a backyard. That is my land, and it needs to be cut. My yard needs a haircut. So we're going to still do it while it's still exciting to do it, because I know eventually I'm going to get tired of doing it. <laughs> so before it feels like a chore, we're going to go and have fun doing it right now. I have received an email from a very young viewer, your biggest, youngest fan, apparently. Four years old. Her name is Paulina, and she lives in New York City. I have a feeling she may have had some help typing this, because this is very well written. You are going to ace English class. Absolutely. I heard that her dad's birthday was on August 28th. August 28th, and it's a big one. Turning the big 4-0. Four 4-0, zero. Four zero, you're still young. Older than me still, but still young. I don't know if you drive a truck or not. What's it saying? It's email here <laughs> yeah her daddy's birthday is on August 28th and he's turning 40 and she wants me to wish him a happy happy birthday so Paulina thanks for your message and your email happy birthday to your dad you didn't say your dad's name in there but I didn't see it anyways but you know who you are happy 40th birthday to you it is belated because this video is late. And I couldn't go back and add it into the video that was actually on your birthday. But with this whole move, everything's been crazy and mine's been spinning. I'm finally getting around to my usual schedule again. So I want to wish you a happy birthday. And thank you, Paulina, in New York City for your email. And I hope your birthday was awesome. I hope you, uh, it was a special one. Hope you will remember it forever. And I wish you another 80 more. 80. Happy birthday. All right, so let's go get the lawnmower. So glad to have a garage. Oh, keeps all my stuff warm and safe. All right. <laughs> Alright, so I get one. Let's get her done. You and me got a date, lawnmower. That was fun. I need a riding more. I I do. I do. I'll show you. There's the yard all nicely cut. Look at that. Except it was too long, so it left all those clumps everywhere, but that's okay. I don't have a bagger right now, so at least it's cut, right? Oh, that's my land. My land! Hey, Diesel, my land. Oh, it's mine too, man. Right? Yeah, you're probably gonna use it more than me, so we'll just say it's yours. You wanna come for a ride with me real quick? We uh, gotta run out of town so that I can make a phone call. <laughs> Cause I still don't got my cell phone booster here and my landline is being activated tomorrow. So we're still in the dark here. We have internet connection. That's all that matters. I can upload my videos and 
surf the web, the interweb. Okay, let's go to our garage, to our wallet. We are driving legally. Uh, I want a Coke. You guys want a Coke? I want a Coke. Coke, Coke, Coke. Coke, 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 Coke. Love that fridge. This is an amazing fridge. My mom is jealous of my fridge. Haha, <laughs> mom, I got a nicer fridge than you. <laughs> uh, you can come use it whenever you want. Okay, diesel. Let's... Oh, diesel. Come here, guys. I knew I was going to bump into that. There we go. Alright, so we gotta go meet them. Well, not meet them. Why, why do I say meet them? We're not meeting anybody. We gotta go make our phone call. I guess I should take my phone with me. That would help. Phone. Car. Bike. Dog. Who's that in there? Who is that? Why aren't you in the car, man? Chuck a Josh, he didn't roll the windows down for him, Chuck a Josh. I know. Sue me. <laughs> Diesel, are you okay? Everybody's worried that I didn't roll down the windows for you. I don't know, I don't know what they're talking about, man. It's fine. There's only like 30 seconds. See? It's only 30 seconds. All you experts out there. Okay. Let's go. Where are you going, Diesel? Where are you going? You going outside? Going outside, man. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's your house, man. Couldn't forget that. Come on. Go have fun. Go have fun. No, diesel this way. Good boy, you like the yard or what? You like the yard? Yeah, I'm standing on my sewer in my flippers with socks. You bet. Diesel, come this way. Go in the yard. Yeah, he's trotting around. Da, 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 da. Yeah, so I think he really enjoys the yard. I enjoy the yard. I just like having the space. That's the best part. That is the best part. What do you got there, Diesel? This is our fire pit. <laughs> Your kingdom, Diesel. What do you see over there? What do you see over there, man? You're ruining my shot. Oh, there's a nice thumbnail. Nice. Hey. Hey, give me a thumbnail. No? There it is. Good boy. That was quite the montage. Very nice. Very nice. Do you have any idea that there was just a montage filmed of you? Oh yeah, look at him. That's his pretty face. He knows it. He knows he's awesome. Okay, so really I'm waiting for uh, actually the old owners, the past owners or whatever you want to call it, to come and meet me. They're going to come to my house here and uh, it's their old house. They're going to tell me how to turn the floor heat on. Because apparently, I don't know how to turn it on. That does not take any man points away from me. So they're going to come tell me. <laughs> and hopefully, I don't know what they, they... They said they'd come out and tell me, so they must be nearby. I thought that they would just tell me over the phone, right? And they'd just tell me how to do it. But like, no, no, we'll come show you. 
I mean, is it really that complicated? Maybe then I don't feel so bad that I couldn't figure it out. Because they gotta come show me. Oh, it is. Dun, 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 dun. See, I remembered the clock, guys. I know you were all worried that I'd forget the clock. 10 to 7. Beautiful. And, uh. Looks like I'm gonna be home till at least Saturday. Did I tell you that already? I'll be taking a load down, uh, one of those multi-drop loads again, down on my, I guess you could almost say my regular route, but I don't have a regular route. I've just so happened to be on the same route multiple times this year. So we're going down, we're gonna start in North Carolina. Where are we going? We're going to Raleigh, North Carolina, I know that. We're going to Thomasville, North Carolina. And we're ending off in Charleston, South Carolina. That's where I'm gonna end off, and then I told them, Keep me busy, keep me going back and forth between Canada and the States, whatever you need me to do, because I need to make some money. I got some grass in my nose. Oh boy. <laughs> that ever happened to you guys? You're mowing the lawn and you're just, <laughs> I don't know. The most annoying thing happened when I was mowing the lawn before, it's just the most annoying thing. One of those stupid little critters that fly right in front of your face, Flew right in front of my face. The entire time I was mowing and I couldn't catch him. He was fast. He was like, every once in a while he'd go like dunk and hit me in the forehead or hit my cheek. Oh, I was getting so mad. I probably just did like the mad dance. Like, get away from me. That was a persistent little bugger. Pun intended. Who you got right there, man? Who you got right there? Who is it? Who is that, man? Who is it? Does he have a name? Does he have a name? What should we call him? I feel like calling him String Bean. But that's not very cowy. He's <laughs> like, look at this thing. <laughs> Focus. There we go. It's like, it's a dancing cow. He's a dancing cow, Diesel. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him. He's my dancing cow, man. Leave him alone. He's mine. <laughs> Cheap thrills. What you do to pass time when you just live by yourself with a dog. <laughs> so, the previous owners were just here. They're actually still outside. They're visiting with the neighbor. Uh, they showed me how to turn on the floor heat. It works fine. It works fine. <laughs> I just didn't know how to turn it on. <laughs> oh, I still keep all my man points, though. That doesn't take away any man points. Right, Diesel? Yes, man. You're all very manly, man. Yes, it doesn't matter if you can't turn it on. Thank you for your support, Diesel. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, there was a gauge, a temperature gauge that uh, you had to turn, and I didn't know that. So, yeah. <laughs> it's working now, so the floor should get a little more toasty warm soon. That's good, because I don't really need it right now, but once winter time hits, then I'm gonna need it. But anyways. Oh. Where's my yard? I keep looking at it. <laughs> Such nice people. Such nice people. I don't know if you guys watch my videos or not. I briefly talked about my videos with them. And uh, nicest people that I bought this house from. They had such bad luck. Oh, I feel so bad for them. I bought this house from them, right? And they bought a new house in Steinbeck. And... Their house burnt down the day after they moved in. Can you believe that? Oh, I feel terrible. Oh, I felt like saying, you know what? You want to just stay here, but... <sighs> I felt so bad. They have a place to stay. Uh, so it's a husband and wife couple. And yeah, electrical problems apparently. They had a fire. Over 50, well, 50 to $80,000 estimated damage so far. <sighs> Unbelievable. Oh, man. So anyways, I'm going to keep in contact with them, make sure that they're all right. And uh, the funny thing is, they, is they would have sold their riding lawnmower with the house. But my real estate agent said, no, they're probably not going to want to sell a lawnmower. Honest mistake, they would have sold it. So we're going to end the day here, guys. I'm watching YouTube, uh, even though... It's not on right now. Where is it? There it is. Watching a conspiracy show, of course, uh, about aliens. Am I a geek? Probably. People called me geeks. 
Or what, do I, what do I say? People call me a geek all the time. What is this fly doing? As soon as I start filming, they just come out of everywhere. They just want to be in. You want to be in the video? Where are you? There he is. There he is. There he is. He's here. We will watch you die. Of course, I can't find my fly swatter now. Diesel, what'd you do with the fly swatter? Oh, here it is. Okay. I just realized this is a right handed camera. That's not really fair, assuming every camera person is right handed. He ran away, of course. Anyways, guys, we're gonna end the day here. I've done. Not very much today, I know. I did quite a bit, but I should have taken the camera to Winnipeg. <sighs> oh, excuse me. I went to Winnipeg today. And then I went to go pick up the mail at the, the old mailbox. Remember guys, no more mailbox. If you did send something and it's already on the way, it'll find its way to me. But no mailbox from now on, just so you know. And we're gonna end the day, like I was saying. So, Diesel, any last words on this boring day? No, we better make tomorrow's video more exciting, man. It was kind of a boring one today. I agree. Sorry, guys. Not every day of my life is exciting, but I will still try my best to make a video for you. Tomorrow, I will try harder. Anyways, guys, see you tomorrow, 4 a.m. Central Time. Be there. Don't forget, there's more links to more videos below in the description. Maybe even a little more exciting than today. All depends on what you define as exciting. Everybody's interested in other things. Different things, you know, like some people just like the trucking. Some people like just the home videos. Some people like everything. Some people like it when I just talk. Some people like it when I just show the road. So I try to include everything. Doing my best. I'll see you all tomorrow, 4 a.m. Central Time.